Okay, welcome back everybody. What I don't like is wasting time. Let's dive into it. A quick disclaimer here, this video is not a financial advice. I'm, I'm not putting all those brands for you to go and start buying them or for you not to go and start buying them. So it's just for educational content, it's just to educate you, for you to know what you are going into or what you want to go into. And then uh, coming to the um, calculations, it does not mean the calculations there does not determine the 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 hours your battery is going to last. It's not as if uh, once you use that battery, the your inverter is never going to off. So it's just it's just to handle the load first, just to handle the load. Then if you want to calculate for your backup time, that one is a is a separate video. I think I have a video. I think I have a video for that. Your choice of lithium battery should depend on the work you want the lithium battery to do or the load you want to put on top of the lithium battery just like there are some there are some lithium batteries or there are some factors you have to consider when choosing your lithium batteries which we will be talking about one of them today which is the charge and the discharge current of the lithium battery let's start with an example if you have a 10 kva system 10 kva system and the total load on it the maximum load that will be on it is 7 kilowatts we are not talking about panels now we are talking about the battery the 7 kilowatts how will you know the amperage needed from the battery so let's just Check it here. This calculator. Okay. Um, seven thousand divided by fifty-one. And fifty-one volts, giving us one hundred and thirty-three. One hundred and thirty-three amps. So this inverter will actually require 137, I mean 137 amps from the batteries to feed the load of 7,000 watts at the voltage of 51 volts of a battery. But we won't use 51 because most times the batteries are on 48 volts, which is the lowest voltage the battery can go. So let's use 41. Let's use 48. I mean seven thousand divided by forty eight. Yeah, giving one hundred and forty five point eight amps. So I've just displayed some of the battery brands. We have one hundred and forty five amps here. I just displayed three three battery brands here. We have S Vote. I have not used this battery before. I just saw it on a friend's post. This is um Felicity. Forget this handle, we cover the name. And this is a SRNE. These are the stickers. Let's come with this S volt. All of them is 55 five kilowatts. Let's see, and they are all lithium ion phosphate batteries, that's the LiPo 4 batteries. Okay, let's start with this. See the rated capacity is one. 106 amp hour the rated capacity of this is um okay it's not rated in amp hour what of this okay this is 100 amp hour probably all, all of them all 5 kv all 5 kilowatts are 100 amp hour so you see 48 volt 100 this 100 here is the amp hour so let's now go to the world we have and what we want to talk about see rated charge slash discharge current is 20 amps wow rated charge and discharge current is 20 amps that means this battery can only handle 20 amps in charging and in discharging <laughs> okay let's put that in mind coming to felicity our almighty felicity that is almost everywhere so the maximum 
charge and discharge is 100 amps but you have another second clause here that says recommended charge and discharge is less than the left hand is less than less than or equal to 50 amps that means it is they, them they are advising you not to use higher than 50 amps that at, at a constant discharge or charging let's look and the charge and discharge recommended charge and discharge okay then coming to srne this is srne battery srne 5.1 kilowatts capacity is 100 amps and then maximum charging current is 100 amps maximum charging current is 100 amps and maximum discharging current is 100 amps and all of them is 55 five kilowatts when you start opening your mouth and we say eh, ah, i'm seeing it cheap somewhere else and it's the same five kilowatts are you seeing the difference now this is just one of the difference i don't i don't want this video to be too bulky and i don't want to get everyone confused so let's just stick with the charge and discharge for now so there is another clause here that says peak charging current and peak discharging current that means this can also go for 110 amps in three seconds both charging and discharging that means if you should have if 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 you should have a peak or a surge or a, a an, an an equipment that required more than it should this battery will be able to handle it if the time is less than three seconds less than or equal to three seconds okay why do i even have to be bothered about the charge and the discharge current why Come on. I'll put this, I'll put this. why do i have to be bothered in the charge and the discharge current why should that be your business let's see what our calculator says so in a load of um, 7000 watts on top of um, 10 kva system will require 145.8 amps from the battery so if you want to use each of these batteries on top of this in your system if you want to use this battery to serve this purpose how many of these batteries will you use if you know put it on the comment section i'm coming to that we have 145 here and to be on the safer side, any amperage you got in your um, in your calculation, always use the double. Always use double of that in your calculation or in your system. So as we have got 145 here, because there might be something and one battery will not work perfectly, so the other battery will be able to handle it. So let's say let's multiply it by two times two so we are having 291.6 amps so you need something close to this or this to be able to handle your system okay so let's see this is just 20 amps so if you are using this battery let's divide it and see how many you have Divided by 20 amps. That's two. Let me write it down. 291.6. That's let's just say 292. 292 divided by 20. So using this 5 kilowatt battery, you need 14 of them. 15 of them to be able to handle this. But using this, let's just use these 50 amps that they wrote here. And now use the hundred. We we'll have two nine two divided by fifty. Oh, you will just be using um six six of the batteries, and then when you are using SRNA, just don't know why I'm laughing. Oh, two nine two divided by hundred. You just need three. 
So have you seen the difference between your batteries? Because when most of you will be saying, ah, let me use this brand, ah, let me use this brand, this brand is cheaper, this brand is not cheaper, have you seen a difference now? So this is just one of them. So let's just stop here and then see you in the next video.